Hi, my name is Kitty Greenwald and this is Slow Food Fast. Today we're gonna make whole roasted bronzino with a red quinoa salad with herbs, toasted pistachios, and diced cucumbers. And the recipe comes to us from Johnny Muniz, who owns Comey Restaurant in Washington, D.C. It's elegant and easy and fast and ideal for these warm summer months. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 because what we're gonna do with the quinoa to accentuate its nutty flavor is to toast it for about 10 minutes. This is one cup of red quinoa. Quinoa cooks up like a grain, but in fact it is a seed, and it comes originally from Peru. Those tiny little pellets you saw will triple or quadruple in volume as they steam and sort of pop open. They have a nice nutty, rich flavor, and they're high in fiber and considered by many to be a superfood. So while the quinoa is toasting, I'm also going to take advantage of the hot oven and toast my pistachios. This is one cup of raw pistachios. The quinoa has been toasting for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take it out. So here we have a, a pot with two cups water. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt. You want the water to sort of taste, uh, taste of the ocean. Bring this up to a boil. Once that comes up to a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to a simmer and cover the pot and gently cook the quinoa for about 15 minutes. Here we have bronzino. The bronzino has been cleaned and gutted and scaled. I'm gonna lay it in the pan. and I'm gonna pat it dry, but essentially all I'm doing is popping the whole fish in with head and tail. When they're this size, you don't need to worry about filleting it. For tips on how to fillet a larger fish or even how to fillet a smaller fish, check out uh, the Slow Food Fast footnotes and click on the link below. We're gonna go simple and then just flavor it at the end, come serve us and just let the sort of delicate meat speak for itself. Increase the heat to about 375 or 400. You can also grill these about eight minutes per side. We're just gonna pop it in and let it roast for about 15 or so minutes and check on it. I'm going to prepare the other components for our quinoa salad and get it going in a bowl, so then all I have to do is toss in the quinoa. This is one English cucumber. When using summer cucumbers, I don't really mind the, um, the skin, but you always wanna test and see if it tastes bitter. It doesn't taste bitter to me. Whenever you make a salad or any dish, you just want to think about what the other components are. You saw the pellet-sized quinoa grains. So while this dice doesn't have to be teeny tiny, I'd like it to play nicely with the small seeds. It's not a very particular recipe. The water is boiling, so I'm going to reduce it to medium-low. Stir. Cover and check on it in about 15 minutes. Waiting on the quinoa, waiting on the fish to be done. And I'm gonna check on my pistachios and take those out of the oven. Good. I'm going to add the zest of one lemon. Once my pistachios cool, I'll toss that in along with my herbs over there. And I'm gonna smash up this clove of garlic, toss that in as well. That's fine, this doesn't have to be a paste. You can make this dish in advance. I would not have the cucumbers diced way in advance. You want them to maintain their crunch. Here we have two kinds of herbs, chervil and tarragon. Chervil is a pretty delicate herb. It should taste nice and licorice and delicate. I don't like to chop chervil up that much because it's delicate. Uh, but you can just tear it into smaller pieces. So I'm gonna chop up the tarragon quickly. And tarragon's another herb that has a nice aroma, used in a lot of French dishes. A nice licorice, sweet perfume to it. My pistachios have cooled, so I'm gonna roughly chop them. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Just want them a little broken up. So you just sort of dump it all together and then toss so that the garlic gets distributed. 
You'll notice that I haven't added any salt, and that's because the quinoa really is cooking with enough salt in it. This should now be done, it is. The liquid has evaporated. I'm gonna taste it, make sure it's tender. If it isn't, you can cover it and let it steam. It's tender, it's nice. So the fish is almost ready, and I'm gonna check on it. I'm gonna gauge for doneness and see if it's time to mix the quinoa in with my cucumber and herb mixture. I'm just touching it to see if it's basically firm, and it is, and it's fatter portions. I'm just gonna let those set up for a few minutes while I finish mixing my quinoa salad ingredients. Toss that together with two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of sherry vinegar. I'm gonna taste for salt, see how we're doing. Perfect. And I'm just gonna serve the fish as is, head and all. I'm peeling back some of the skin, so there's actual tender, beautiful meat here. We've cooked our fish perfectly. Two lemon wedges, I like a lot of lemon. Drizzle it with some olive oil. And then this beautiful summer salad. And that's good, healthy eating. Serve it with salt. That's a simple dish that is super fresh and quick and light and ideal for this time of year. Mm. It's really the perfect food. And if healthy eating was always this delicious, I think I would do it more often. So thanks, Johnny Minnis.